boom what up solo chop only here back for some more chop and action we're playing some olaf up in the top lane time to chop them up chop them up throw the axe out there we go get that bone plating first i love it i love it i mean i did chuck the axe pretty far we should be good oh Try and get another Q. When he goes for this one, maybe? We'll take it, we'll take oh, it. What up? Today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh. Get mouth-watering seasonal recipes and fresh, pre-measured ingredients delivered right to your door by America's number one meal kit. HelloFresh makes cooking at home easy, fun, and affordable. No matter what's going on in the world, you gotta eat. That's why HelloFresh is here to make eating better and easier. No grocery stores, no stressful meal planning. Just get everything that you need to prepare a wholesome, delicious meal, all delivered right to your door. With over 50 weekly options, including a rotating selection of items at HelloFresh Market, there are plenty of delicious dishes for you to choose from no matter what the occasion. And HelloFresh's recipes feature produce sourced directly from U.S. farmers and picked at peak ripeness. It goes from the farm to your front door in under a week, which means the spring menu features the season's freshest flavors. HelloFresh has more five-star reviews than any other meal kit, so you know you will always get something delicious that you're going to love. Now, my favorite thing about HelloFresh is they help me save time, whether it's fast, easily cooked meals or just saving me the constant trips to the grocery store. Use my link or go to HelloFresh.com and use the code POGSROMAY16 for up to 16 free meals plus three surprise gifts across six HelloFresh boxes plus free shipping and handling. Once you click, my description will update live to keep track of all the purchases made. Thanks, HelloFresh, for sponsoring today's video. Let's get Thank back you. into it. I didn't pick up the axe, we wouldn't even have gotten a trade off, but it's all good. Uh, normally I want W second. Depends on how these fights go. I'll take W, it's fine. Woo! Destruction, bro. Oh my god. Go me! Let's go. And proc the bone plating. That's huge. Let's get a ward down so I don't die to Zack. He can kind of jump on me from the other bush anyways. It's a little questionable. Grab this. This minion gives me a level up. Ah, I choked it. The E though. Nice trade. Oh, I choke it. So close to just being ignitable. Like, come on. What? <laughs> I don't really want to throw another Q though. Hmm. I can hit it. Oh! Perma CC'd. I got everything off though. No auto attack though. Ward to avoid gank gets ganked. Well, yeah, I knew he was just going to jump on me from here. Rest in peace. Dumbo down in the top lane. <laughs> Limit testing, right? We're just limit testing, that's all you gotta say. Oh, I died? I died because of my own stupidity? No, I was limit testing, okay? Now I found my limit. I obviously can't do what I just did there. Problem solved. There we go. How to cope when you have a fragile ego. <laughs> I know so many ways. Let's try and deny this cannon. Ooh, I like it. I like it. Careful for the snip snip. It's coming. Might eat this so I don't miss it. Ha! <laughs> I never miss it. I don't need to eat it. Ooh. Where you going? I'll be honest, I tried to ghost like 16 times by pressing D. That's why that looks so sloppy. Because I got so confused on what was going on. I was like, I swear to God, I'm pressing it. Is it not available? And then I looked down and it's up. And then I was like, press it again, press it again. A D, D, D. It's still not working. What's happening? I was so lost. Figured it out in the end. It's, it's on the F key. It's on the F key. That is, in fact, the issue here. 
Now I normally do Ghost on D, because I normally do Ghost Flash builds. It's pretty rare that I do Ghost and Ignite. So I do have an excuse. <laughs> it's not my fault. Nice. Bone plating. Ooh. Oh my god, I canceled my auto like six times. That's horrible. I canceled my auto like six times. This guy keeps getting me from over here, dude. I'm literally underestimating how far he can jump. Which is so dumb because I just played... I don't think the damage went off. Because I just played him in top lane. One more. I just played him in top lane, so it's like I should know how far he can jump. He's OP. Mm, I don't really like that. Spend more gold here, it's okay. I need to stop playing around this area. I think that's something I could obviously do. Because like this area is not very safe. Because if he goes from here, he doesn't even have a max yet, but he can like barely get to like right here right now. When he has a max, he can get to like here from over here. But if I'm hugging this whole area, what a terrible way to play. Like, why don't I just play on this side? And then, at best, he can... He didn't knock me up there because I pressed R in time. Well, I guess even if he did knock me up, pressing R would break me out of it. I'm feeling strong, though. Look at the CS gap. Huge. Bolt coming up again in 20 seconds. I like it. Do you want to pop, uh, pop the uh, bone plating first? If this guy doesn't want to walk up for any farm, I am cool with that. I will simply last hit and just take a CS advantage. If anybody ever does this to you, just accept it. Unless you're like so far ahead that you're just going to kill him over and over again, just accept it. Like, you're going to give up all this for nothing? Cool. Because this isn't like a situation that ever ends. So when you give up now, it's like you're going to give up forever. Because I'm just going to keep us in the same situation. And it's just going to get worse and worse for you over time. So maybe it's correct to act early. This guy's getting no gold. I don't care about EXP. If you have no gold, how are you going to contest me? Item advantages are quite important in top lane. So what would I do if I was in this position? Well, I would try and hit the wave in a way that, like, forces the Olaf to press Q. And then when he presses Q, he, like, hits the entire minion wave. And he might start to push it back. But I make sure I do it in a manner where I'm not, like, committing to anything. Like, I'll walk forward in auto or something. Walk forward and use my W. But I'll save my E to dash away, right? Something like that. This is not going to work. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> We got 46 farm. Stay in mid lane. <laughs> what the fuck? I want to pressure up on the cannon. Deny it. So I'm also looking at like the HP of my minions as well. Because when they get low, that's when she wants to walk forward. So that's when I should walk forward to counteract it and make her walk away. Look it. We just widen the CS gap. It's basically like I killed her twice with the CS gap. And then I still have this play. Like all that just to still die. You know what I mean? It's kind of what I was saying about the position getting worse and worse. Because when you're right here, the wave's not terrible for you in the sense of it's like relatively close to your tower. When you're all the way over here, then you're super overextended. And the guy who's running ghost has a lot, a lot of mobility advantage on you. And you're even more extended. I got so much gold. I'd be careful because top's gonna rotate on you. W for some attack speed. Oh yeah, Q for this. E for this. Get the Sheen proc is what I'm saying. Every time you use an ability, your next one is empowered. A little bit of extra damage. It's got my all in me. I'm gonna pop ult. Potion. I'm gonna pop potion just in case. He started using ult on me right there, it was possible he could kill me. Because I don't have ult to run away, so I get slowed every single hit. But I ult. Might have enough damage. Grab this, looking good. 
Hell yeah, free boots just came in too. We get the extra 10 movement speed on them for taking the free boots. Plus, they're for they're free, so I don't have to spend the 300 gold. Not too bad. Oops, Gwen should have played safe, lol. I mean, she was, right? That's why she gave up all that farm. That's why it's sometimes better to like do the opposite thing. Like right there, right in the beginning part of that, she should have just played aggressive. Because worst case scenario, it's like, all right, you're getting some of the farm and then you die. Like that's like the absolute worst case scenario. You know, you go for some of the farm and you die. If you do it the way I said, like you walk up and you know auto the minion, and then I try and like queue you, queue you as you do that, and just by queuing, I break the the freeze and it starts pushing back to you. I'll be honest, I'm literally not paying attention. My bad. <laughs> Although I couldn't really do very much with Q though. He just blocks it with W. Like you have W and you have E to get away, you know what I mean? But yeah, now this wave is slow pushing, so it's a whole different story. She doesn't really get punished for sitting back and waiting. It's when the wave is doing the opposite, slow pushing towards me, and I can just set up a freeze. Like this, no matter what she does, the wave's gonna go into her. Like, if she doesn't hit it, it's going to shove in. No matter what I do, it's going to push in. Like, it's already starting to push. It's going to push until it hits tower or champion. Oops. Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting W said auto attack reset. Cute. Love it. Another one. Ooh, Zach's right behind her, though. Dude, I'm just sniping with these shots. <laughs> it's actually wild. I would not be surprised if Zach stayed here. I get like one more E. Did not do as much damage as I thought. I was gonna E ignite, but the E didn't do enough. I could have like autoed, baby. Auto W, get the reset. Nice, dude. Almost. That one's at me there. Just depends if Mal's rotating. <sighs> a little deep, a little deep. He's worried about Volley Bear, but I should be worried too. I'm overextended. Noise. Not too bad. I'm definitely down with the magic resist boots here. Hell yeah. And then normally you would get death stance next. Well, no, I think you still do. It's just awkward because they don't have that much uh, magic. I think I spent more gold this way. So as I get most of these components, I'm gonna get the attack damage ones anyways, and then I'm following this up with the maw. I would say like normally you want like a Maw here because like look at these three, but even four, like so much magic damage out of this team comp. So maybe Maw second is better, but this still works. First off, I think this item is just completely broken. It heals too much when people die. And it's too easy to get the heal. If I press Q on somebody in a team fight, I'm gonna heal for like 400 health. It just doesn't make any sense. And then you have Triumph on top of it. So it's just, your staying power in these team fights is just crazy. All good. But yeah, I can get the death stance and follow it up with the uh, the maw. Should be a good second choice. I was just thinking about doing maw before, but I just don't actually think it's worth. Ooh. I'm gonna walk in here and start stealing stuff. 
Hit vision down. One ward here and then one over here is ooh. I can actually clear that. He just jumped into this, so he doesn't have jump up, so he can't stop this. Hmm. Why am I trying to take this quickly? Oh, I keep canceling the auto. Oops. Hell yeah. Alright. We like this. Although I would have liked the other ward. Because they can still sneak behind through here and come and kill me. Just being patient, because nobody's showing on the minimap. So I don't really want to be that extended. Mm -mm -mm. Chilling. All right, I'll ward here. Oops. Should be all right. Ooh, volley. Oh, their whole squad's here. I think I'm just gonna leave. I don't really know if we want to fight them. It's kind of odd. But yeah, this works against all damage. I know there's armor in it, but the heal obviously works against everybody, and then the damage reduction works. I'll really just hold mid and play the dragon. I like. That doesn't look good. Man, everything not dying by like 1 HP. Dilton! Oh, I cancel the damn auto. Ooh, the W with Triforce is actually naughty. That's real good. Uh oh. Yo, this is good, this is good, this is good, this is good. We actually want this. enough. I can move here and stop him from... It's right here? Yeah. Yoink camps! Works for us, man. I could have played that way better. I don't know. I had too many thoughts going through my little brain. I was like, do this on this guy, this on this guy. If I ignited the one that was running away, like... I hit him with Q, but I didn't ignite. That was kind of the issue. If I just ignited that, it would have worked out. And then I could have just focused the other people. And then, because I didn't ignite the guy, my brain was like, ignite. And then I ignited Zack. That did literally nothing. Not smart. Get another pink. Farsight. Go. Probably going top here. We do have four drags, so we're really just... We do have three drags, so we're really just waiting on the fourth one. That'll be huge for us. On my way up, I'm going to get this camp. Ooh. I'm worried they actually shoved the wave. Yeah. I could have finished the camp. It's all good. It's going to reset, so it's not a big deal. Trying to snipe him. I don't mind splitting here, to be honest. I do need some vision down, though. So them pushing would be good. Just gotta worry about the uh, rotation. Nope. I think, I think we go to mid. Come, come, come. Come, 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 come. Come with me, come with me, come with me. Oh man, we could have a nice flank here. gonna eat through this wall, huh? Come on, baby. I hit, but 
Okay. Whew. Good job. Good job. We like that. See how much we heal, though? It's just kind of ridiculous, dude. Kind of ridiculous, dude. Again, really just waiting on that two minutes for Dragon. Um, hey, man. Now oh, we should leave. No, thank you. I got enough gold. Hell yeah. Hopefully nobody dies right here. But probably Visage. Amp up all the healing, amp up all the uh, shielding with the W. Should be real good. Oh. Yeah. Good one, bro. I <laughs> see how he tried to VM me. Good one. <laughs> Get the fuck off of me. All up in the building, baby. He's like, haha, you're slowed. <laughs> you're slowed by the Rylize. Was it Rylize? No, it was something this guy did. It was his plants auto attack, I think. But yeah, it was slowed by that. <laughs> and then I just press R and I get a movement speed burst and catch him. <laughs> Destroyed. Yeah, that's what we're after, though. Give me this. Yeah, it'd be nice to get control over this whole side. Ooh. I think we try to make a pick here. Ooh, surrender vote. Tapping out. Okay. Hey, man, Olaf's pretty fucking good, dude. I want to see the damage, though. I want to see the damage, though. Because we were hitting like a truck. Honestly, the whole team played really well. GG squad. Good dub, good dub. All right, continue. T 10, two and one, I don't like to share. <laughs> yeah, that's some damage for you. Whew. I wanna see the healing too. Healing done, all right, not crazy. Obviously Zach's doing ridiculous, but 5,000 ain't nothing to laugh at. Plus we have the shield with the W involved in that too. So self-mitigated damage up toward the top, even more than Zach. Not bad. GG well played. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you're watching over on YouTube, like the video, subscribe for more content like this. If you're watching over the live stream, follow the live stream, subscribe for more. What are you doing? Subscribe. Use your Twitch Prime. GG well played. Thanks for watching. Peace.